Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. And in this video, I want to show you how to do this centered logo nav menu. Now, you might guess that a typical way to do this is to have three columns, one column with one menu, the second column with the logo, and the third column with another menu. But if you look closely in my header, I just used a single column. And how is this even possible? Well, it's all possible because of CSS. That's what I'm going to teach you in this video. And let's go ahead and build this cool little centered logo header coming right up. And by the way, this is all done using Elementor Pro's theme builder. So you need to have Elementor Pro. Bear that in mind. Once you have Elementor Pro, go to theme builder and let's create a new header. I'll select header from here. And I'll call it center logo header. You can call it anything. I'll just click on create template. I'm not going to use any of the default templates. I'm going to close this out. And I'm just going to use one column. I'll just click on this header. I'll set the content with the full width. I'll set the background of the header. To maybe a little bit of white that should be fine i'll also set the height of the header i'll set it to minimum height maybe around 80 pixels or so or 90 pixels i think 80 would be great so let's keep that at 80 pixels you can set it to any width or any height that you want now the first thing is that we need our nav menu just create the nav menu with all the menu items that you need it's as easy as that so I'm going to drag in my nav menu widget into the column. So I have eight entries over here. You can see eight list items or eight nav menu items. So it's easy to place my logo in between the fourth and fifth item, which is support as and between tutorials. I'm going to center this nav menu. It's also easy to stretch it out, but I'm just going to keep it centered so that it looks like a centered logo nav menu. Now I'm going to drag in the nav or the site logo widget just right under this into this column. Let's set the size of the logo, maybe 60 by 60 pixels. Apply. That's great. Now we just need this logo right in between supporters and tutorials. How to do that? Well, it's quite simple. Now, if you look closely, these are basically list items or the links. So I'll just minimize the side panel. I'll right click and I'll click on inspect. And if you observe each of the item, they are basically list items. Now, I've taught previously on the channel, if you have multiple items that are of the same nature, in this case, we have list items or links, you can use something called nth child selector in CSS. Well, that's how we'll go, we're going to target this element and this element and add some space in between so that this logo can go right in between the space. I'll show you how that works. So how do you target this? Let's give our nav menu or we don't even need to give our nav menu a class name. You can also do it using the class name. I'll just click on the header. I'll go to advanced and I'll add CSS into this. Or let's call our nav menu something, my nav or something, my hyphen nav, right? So that's my nav menu. Now I can go to custom CSS and this custom CSS can be put anywhere. So within my nav menu, I'm targeting list item, right? That's how the structure is. If you observe closely, I'll minimize this. I'll again inspect the element and clearly see the element. It's basically a nav menu within UL and within this unordered list, each of this is basically a list item. So each menu item is essentially a list item. I just need to get the fourth list item and the fifth list item and I can apply some properties to that. That's what I'm going to do. So once I've targeted the element that repeats itself or the elements that are same in nature, which are basically these links, 
I can use the nth child property because they all have the same parent, right? All of them belong to the same parent div. So I can say nth child and I want to target support as. So I'll say four, which is the fourth child. So this is the first child, second child, third child, and fourth child. Depending upon the place where you want to insert cap, change this number to anything or this. Now, I just need a little bit of margin or space onto the right of supporters element so that I can put my logo in there. So maybe 100 pixels. Just like that, when I say margin right 100 pixels, a gap of 100 pixels is added onto the right of this supporters item, right? You can also tweak this to 200 pixels if you want. That's great. Or let's keep it at 150 pixels. It depends on various things, but I'll just keep it at 150 pixels. Now I'll target, I'll copy this code, paste it right below us. Now I'm going to target the fifth child or essentially tutorials element. And this time I need some space onto the left. So I'll say margin left. And just like that, we have a huge amount of space right in between the left menu part and the right menu part. I'll align this perfectly onto the center. Now all we need to do is to click on the logo item or the logo widget, unlink the margin and use a negative margin for the top of the logo. Now, depending on where you want to place it, just adjust the margin. And just like that, we have our centered logo menu element or the nav header, just like that. All we did was we just used one column, one nav menu, and it's all done using CSS. Now, one more thing, this logo may not be accessible or the menu elements may not be accessible once you publish it. I'll add condition to set it to the entire site. I'll just preview the element once. Now the logo is not clickable or the logo is clickable. If the logo is not clickable for some reason, you can simply set a Z index or the same Z index to the logo and the same Z index number to the nav menu element. That way, both the logo and the nav menu element will be clickable. And that's how you achieve this centered logo nav menu quite easily using CSS. I'll leave the CSS code in the description. Check out the description to get the code. Now, this header will look good up to a certain extent. And at some point, you need to either hide this header completely. And to do that, you can simply do one thing. You have to see at which point this header is breaking because we added random code. And I'll just click this window and on the right corner, you can see the width. Even at 1343 pixels, it's doing great. 1281, 1239, 1226. And so at tablet breakpoint, you basically need to hide this header and you have to uh, build uh, another header, right? Or you can adjust your breakpoint to that size. And how do you hide the header? Well, it's simple and responsive. Click on the, click on the column itself. Go to advanced under responsive you can hide it on tablet and mobile devices maybe for tablet and mobile devices you can build a separate header which has hamburger menu and stuff like that so it's quite simple for you to even make this responsive anyway this whole centered logo header looks good only on desktop devices and to some extent on few tablet devices and at that point you need to adjust the breakpoint so that this header doesn't get messed up. That's it for now. We've also used nth child selector to style alternate elementary tabs or alternate elementary accordions and toggles. You can check that out. It will be in the elementary basics playlist. So nth child is really powerful. And this is just another way to use nth child selector to, you know, get some optimization done. If we had three columns, there'll be a lot of divs. And if we have two nav menus, you have to adjust each of them separately and that will get whole messed up. Whereas here we just have one column and one nav menu. So we're basically saving a ton of divs and a lot of 
load time and we are doing some optimization stuff here that's the point that's the reason why you should learn a bit of css just to help out in the optimization stuff we've also used nth child selector to style alternate elementary tabs or alternate elementary accordions and toggles you can check that out it will be in the elementary basics playlist so nth child is really powerful and this is just another way to use nth child selector to you know get some optimization done if we had three columns there will be a lot of divs and you if you have two nav menus you have to adjust each of them separately and that will get whole messed up whereas here we just have one column and one nav menu so we're basically saving a ton of divs and a lot of load time and we're doing some optimization stuff here that's the point that's the reason why you should learn a bit of css just to help out in the optimization stuff there are a lot of things that you can do with css but anyway i'll catch you guys in the next video like subscribe and share it with your friends if you found this video helpful see ya